guys, time for Hot Topics. Let's do it. Hi guys, so today I want to share another story with you. Today I want to talk about Tracy Braxton from Braxton Family Values finding her own voice with the help of Phaedra Parks and Flavor Flav. And how I think it's time to, for Flavor Flav to, you know, update his look, you know, maybe just a little bit. So last night was the first episode that we got to see what was going on behind closed doors. And we got to see just how hard it was for Tracy to get out of her sister's shadow and find out who she was as a woman and what she was made of. It was riveting, absolutely riveting in my opinion, because it got really deep. It got really deep and Tracy Braxton is not the only person that goes through a backlash from your family, okay? You ra you're raised together, you're raised to be tight, stick with each other through thick and thin, but that's a two-way street, okay? At least in my damn opinion. I can't be the one doing all the damn giving. Okay, and for me, I, I have no nothing bad to say about Tamar, but Tamar looks out for Tamar, okay? And I believe she asked Tracy to do some things that she never would do her damn self, okay? I still like her, you know, but I'm just being real about this episode. So Tracy was faced with the decision. Do I go on strike with my family because they want more money? But that's going to put me in a financial bind. I have my own damn family. I got a new grandbaby. I don't even want to strike in the damn first damn place. I'm okay where I'm at. Or do I go out on my own and get called a carrot top redhead trader? And this is something that everybody has to go through in their damn life. It's called cutting the strings, okay? It's like you're raised with your first family. But when you go into adulthood, it's time to be a damn adult. But some people get family is so tight, it becomes a cult, okay? It's like a cult. You get brainwashed into putting them before you put yourself first. And that's exactly what Tracy was going through. And it was hard for her to break away from them. She was crying. Um, you could just see she was hurt. She was hurt. She was hurt as hell because if you're supposed to be my damn sister, okay, and I tell you I love you, but I have to go my own way, and you don't understand that, and you say, what did she say that one of the sisters said? I ain't got no damn sister no more. Now, I wonder what sister said that. I mean, I just don't see Tony saying anything like that. And Twana's kind of too quiet to say something like that. I mean, I'm not trying to always, you know, go in on Tamar, but if I had to pick who the hell said that, yeah, I'm going to go with it was probably Tamar. Now, she could have been speaking out of anger, you know. All of them were mad at her, so one, one of the other sisters weren't better than the other. The bottom line is they were mad as hell at Tracy, and Tracy had to make a grown woman decision. I ain't mad at her. I ain't mad at her. As a matter of fact, it made me get great gain more respect for Tracy because she said they treat her like the damn cousin. That's being too nice. They were treating your ass like the damn stepchild. Oh, and not just any old stepchild. I would say like a bastard child, stepchild who didn't even know who their daddy was and all they need out of life was love. That's how they treated Tracy. Like that little needy bastard. Okay? Like they never give Tracy the attention the support that she needs. And so, why keep sticking around for it? A lot of people last week when they found out that Phaedra was coming on the show, they were like, this happened 22 years ago. You know, when you felt left out, get over yourself. You ain't no, I mean, people, it, she had to go through it, people. But this episode really, really, really made me have more respect for Tracy because some people get to that point in life when it's time for you to make decisions for yourself and you don't give a damn what nobody else say. Some people are too cowardly to do it. They'll just stick with what's been working for them because that's all they know. And a lot of people are scared of change. Because I tell you what, if one of my sisters said to me, I ain't got no sister no more, I'd be like, I don't either. Bye, bitch. This whole thing, bringing Flavor Flav and Phaedra in, I thought it was dumb as hell last week. I feel bad. I feel bad. I'm sorry, Tracy. Because it sounded dumb. But now that I watched it, everything, it might be a good idea. She's changing the feel of the show. She's trying to uplift it. Flavor Flav is a comedian, Lunell's a comedian, they're bringing um, Tiffany Pollard on, you know, who has that chemistry with Flav to begin with. I would always suggest, after a trial run, let's just change the name, let's just stop calling it Braxton Family Values. I mean, I'm not mad at Tracy having a spinoff, because that's what it is, okay? But, since Tracy uh, starts showing strength, you guys won't believe it. Now the other sisters are coming around. Trina's giving interviews saying that she was ill-advised. What does that mean? That means, damn, I made a bad decision. I should have went with Tracy's ass because this network ain't playing with us. 
the show will go on. That's what that means, in my opinion. So at the end of the day, this episode really made me respect Tracy Moore. I'm sorry to say, you know, I treated you like the stepchild too, you know. I mean, you were just always in the back. I just didn't know, you know. I just, you know, I, sorry Tracy. And Flavor Flav and Phaedra seem to be extremely supportive. Proud that, you know, to be part of this. You know, I'm saying, I always been a big fan of the Braxton. You know, I'm a big fan of the Braxton. You know what I'm saying? And I ain't gonna lie, but when I met Tracy, I got starstruck. Yes, I did. You know what I'm saying? And I value that. I value that. The clock, Flav. We're still rocking the clock. 30 years later. Like, where the hell is Chuck D? Listen, if none of your friends are gonna do it, I'm gonna do it for you. It's time to come into the new era. In a loving way. You know, I really like you, but you know, it's time. You can do it. You can do it. That's my opinion on last night's episode. But we're not all the same. Some people feel like Tracy's a traitor. So I want to know in the com my comment section, what do you think of Tracy's new attitude? And do you think she threw her sisters under the bus? Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification button for more stories like these. Until next time, talk to you then. Bye.